Hi, my name is Orla O'Brien and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a one stroke rose for nail art. Um, first we're going to start out with, I've just done the base colour which is a nice shimmery colour onto the nail trainer nail. Um, I used Elf Moonlight, it's a great nail varnish. Um, what you're going to need for this is most importantly your paints. You need a ac water based acrylic paint works best. Um, I'm using Folk Art which I just got yesterday and I love. Um, this is what they look like. I put them onto my nail art plate. So there are the two paints and then your brush, your most important brush is your one stroke brush which is the flat one. And if you notice it should always be pointed off because that's where you need the detail. So it's flat and then I have my longer detailing brush which I use for outlining some of the bigger petals and then my smaller detailing brush for just all the fine detail. And these two brushes I cut down to the size I wanted. One of the easiest things to do. What you do is you take all the bristles you need to one side and you just cut off the others. So you can kind of see the stumps of them there. But you kind of have to make sure it goes round in a circle so this comes to a fine point when it's in shape. So I just dipped it into water there and you can see the shape of it now. So the most important thing about one stroking is double loading your brush and doing that correctly. So you dip one side into one colour paint. I'm using white and red so one side and white and then the other side in red. I like to leave a little gap in the middle because it stops your brush becoming overloaded. So to blend the two colours I take my plate and then I just run them over and they slowly start to blend. So you do this a couple of times just to fully load the brush because you want it going about three quarters of the way up the brush, up the bristles of the brush and you just keep doing this until you have it all up and you have the right blending in the colours there. So the more you do it the quicker it becomes and you don't even have to look at what you're doing really. And so I'm just going to do this slowly so you can see what you have to do. So blending it again. So you can see you need a little bit more red just to make it a little bit even. So up and down again and that's the way your petal will come out. So I'm going to talk you through a couple of the basic petal shapes. So for the first petal you tend to do just like a round sweeping one. So then I load my brush with a teeny bit more paint just on the edges and go over it again but this time go up and down because that gets paint all over so you see the red gradually going up into the white. Now the next one is for the bud of the rose. So we call that the U and the N shape. First you do the N shape which is up like that and again you go over it again and wiggle the brush around to get it going up and then and then pull it back down. So then the U shape. You join them up there and there's your rosebud. So if you're doing that as a closed flower what you do then is just add a couple of sweeps there for petals and then you'd add the stalk and the leaves in green. So I'm just going to wash my brush because I felt again a little bit dry and you don't want the paint to become dry. If it becomes dry it doesn't go on smoothly. So, just washing the brush, getting all that paint out and wiping any excess water off. So, my brush is back to the state it was in. So, again, double loading. And up and then. And you just keep doing it until you have exactly what you're looking for. So. I'm going to start onto the nail trainer nail and do the first petal. 
the easiest way to get to improve yourself after one stroke is to practice on paper and gradually get smaller. So, going over again, this time wiggling and turning at the same time, which is one of the things most people struggle with is to turn the brush. So again, you point it where you want to start, go up and then, and then turning to get the round petal. Like that. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more paint onto my brush again, blending it out. You don't want loads of paint on your brush. So you can see there's just enough. And then again. There's the next petal. Tiny bit more paint. Now we're going to wheel the brush around. Oh, one like this, you can stop and do either side. So we're going to go on to the next petal. So you can slowly see the open rows forming. But try and do this so you're still able to see. So. so a little bit more paint. So you can just see I'm adding paint all the time because you don't want the paint to get too see-through. So there's the next one. And then the last outside petal, which are the big ones. So again, getting more paint. Every time you see me stopping, I'll be getting more paint. So you can see that slowly starting to form a rose. Well, the outside of a rose. If you're not happy with anything, or if any of the paints are looking a little faint, you just go back over once the paint is dry and it'll slowly build your colour. And for the outside you really want the colours to be very strong and vibrant. So I'm just going to go over them all again. Um, I'll go over them while wiggling my brush. Because that continues the red blending up into the white and adding little creases into the petal. Now, yeah. so that is the outside petal done. You can see it there. Now, just wash your brush again to get any of the dry paint out. And taking any excess off, bring it back to the point. And again, double load. And wipe it onto your plate or your palette, whichever you prefer to use. And make sure you have enough paint on there to keep it going smooth. And you want good balance between the red and the white. Obviously if you want a petal that has more white, you add more white. More red, you add more red. So just depends on the look you're going for when you're doing it. Yeah. So you can see it all blended there. So I'm going to do some of the outside petals. Well the inside petals around the bud. So again the same as before. Going around. And again here. wash my brush again, it wasn't going very smoothly. And again, double load.
So as you can see, you can just keep going over them until you're happy. So now I'll come back over this one. Just give it a bit more shape. Same this. So it's two N shapes what you're doing here. And that just has petals around the bud. So now we're going to do the bud, which is the N and the U shapes I showed you at the start. So pointing in whichever direction you want, you do the first one, which would be the N. Okay, now onto the U. So there is the starting of your rows. Using the tiny detailing brush I showed you at the start. This one. I'm just going to dip it into the white and just outline any of the white areas that would hit the light. And because they're petals, you don't want them to be completely round. You want them to be a little bit squiggly because no petal is completely round. So anywhere on the white that the light would hit. Now onto the inside ones. You don't want too much on these because the light doesn't really hit them as much. And to add a couple more petals around the bud, you just do. A couple of lines like that. Get a tiny bit of black. Paint. I'm going to use my longer brush. Get some out. Again, this is the folk art paint. So you can see on my plate there, I put some black. I'm just going to get some red. Mix it in so it's a tiny, tiny bit darker. You don't want it too dark. So. Mm, roughly around that color. You'll know yourself, it depends on the shade of red you're using. So, this goes into where the light wouldn't hit. And that's one stroke rose done. So you just have to wait for that to dry and then if you wanted you could put a few diamantes around it or crystals, whichever you prefer. And um, for something like this, for clients I charge about a year because of the time it takes and the amount of detail that goes into it. As you can see it is a very simple technique but it is very very effective. So just gonna wait for that to dry. If you wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to it, you could by using a gold or silver paint watered down and just go roughly around the edges of the petals just to give it a bit of shimmer. But because of the shimmery background, you don't need that. So I'm using a brightening top coat. I'm just going over just to seal it in. And as you know, nail art can be done on top of gel, acrylic, fiberglass, on your natural nail, on a gel polish, 
uh, it just gives a bit of personality to your nail. So, there it is done. If you can see it there. Yeah. So it's Orla here from A Titch Sparkle and I hope to upload more videos soon. Thank you.